This next topic is on object information control. That's the um, pop-up that you get when you click the information button, or you can have it automatically pop up when you create a notification or order. So that's set up in plant maintenance customer service under maintenance service processing, maintenance and service notifications, notification processing, object info. Again, you should read the documentation with that. Then there's also notes for both of these topics. So I'll go into this first one, defining information keys. So the one I'll be going into is for PM, and um, that's the one assigned to the notifications and the equipment and also the orders. So if I double click on that one to look into it, well, by the way, you can create a new one if you need to with a new button. Remember, you can also copy an existing one with the copy button. So I'm just going to go into this one, the PM, and you'll see all the settings. So from the top, the first one is automatic. If that is not checked, then the user will have to click the I button. So when you first go live, if there's no history and you just find it annoying with the pop-up all the time, then initially maybe for the first six months you can have this turned off. So I'll leave it automatic. And uh, number of days, basically when you see the statistics on on the um, how many breakdowns and so on, how, how much uh, data do you want to, to be uh, summarizing? So is a, a year in a glance of the equipment, that's the most common. Now these numbers are threshold numbers. What that means is that if the threshold's breached on a report, you'll see like a yellow lightning bolt. So it just tells you, you know, that people would look out for those lightning bolts, meaning something that, you know, something is uh, a problem. Like in terms of a breakdown, you might say, well, from one breakdown, you want people to really see that. See that. And if there's been three uh, notifications created, then, then uh, you maybe want to see that also. So these are your threshold values. If you leave all these blank, then you won't see the um, statistics. Now this notification select an automatic display. This is if you want, when you actually generate the report, if you want to see, automatically have it checked, see completed, outstanding, and so on. And what date range you want it to be defaulted to, to show the history of the most recent stuff, seven days or the last month, like 30 days or whatever you'd have to save your change and transport and so on. Now, once you have that set up in the PM, then you need to assign that to the different objects. So this is where you do that. So if I click this, here's where you'll see that for the uh, notifications and maintenance, they're all signed PM. Now I'll show you what the result of that screen is on a notification. If I create a notification, I have it set to, automatic so as soon as I identify the equipment well that's the warranty pop-up but the next one would be the object info and you see the date range it's selected from this date to this date so that's a year in the life of that equipment the uh, these are the statistics that are showing how many breakdowns and this has breached the threshold by one notification so it's showing a lightning bolt and this also has breached the uh, threshold these reports, it's important to see that when I generate the notification report, that seven day is what affects these dates. Of course, the user can change that if they want to go all the way back through time to want to see everything. And those check marks also are what influence these check marks to be by default. So the user would just have to hit the execute to bring up the report of those notifications, if there were any. See, so it says here, notification create in the last seven days, there are none. So if I go there and I remove this date, then there should be some. Now, those are one, two, three, four, and that's it. That's the effect of making those inputs. I'll just give you a quick demo if I uh, remove these numbers. And if I don't want it automatic. So when I save those change, I'm not going to transport it, but I'm just going to save that and then demo that making a completely new notification. As soon as I identify the equipment, I still get my warranty pop-up, but I don't get the object info pop-up. I have to manually trigger it with the object info button. 
and you'll see it doesn't have those boxes showing me the statistics because I didn't put any values in this threshold, so they don't show up at all. So I can't even generate a report. But that report would be, if I did have it, it would be like the, the 60 days I set as a default range. That's it. So I'm just going to take you back to the main menu and that's done.